Close your eyes, focus on the breath. When it comes in, know it's coming in. When it goes out, know it's going out. And give it your full attention. As for other thoughts or other things that may come along, you don't have to pay them any attention at all. It's like you're sitting and doing some work, you're reading a book, and someone else walks past. You don't have to pay attention to the person walking past. You want to stay with your book. In the same way, thoughts will come in, sounds will come in, but you don't have to pay them any attention. You just stay right here with the breath coming in going out. Try to be single-minded about this, because if you're not single-minded, you get double-minded and triple-minded with all kinds of other things. And the power of that single mind just gets wasted. It's not the case when the mind has more minds or more ideas that it has the strength of a crowd, because all of its power just gets divided up in little tiny pieces and doesn't gather together. It doesn't really amount to much. So in other words, the more minds you have, the poorer you are. The less energy, the less attention, the less knowledge you're going to have of anything. So you want to know this one thing really clearly and stick with it. Give it your full attention. When the breath is coming in, what does it feel like? When it goes out, what does it feel like? In the whole body, not just at the nose, but how does it feel in the chest, how does it feel in the stomach, how does it feel in the back, your arms, your legs, down to the toes, out to the fingers. When you experience the breathing, how does it feel? Give this your whole attention and you'll find that you'll be rewarded with things that are not piecemeal, things that come in holes as well, W-H-O-L-E-S as well. In other words, the whole mind will settle down, the whole mind will have a sense of ease and well-being. This is the advantage of doing anything. You know if something is good, then do it with your whole heart, with your whole mind. Because if you're divided, part of you wants to do good, part of you wants to do something else. And then it starts dividing up into not just twos, but fours, and then onto sixteens and two hundred and fifty six, and all of a sudden everything's divided all over the place. And nothing gets really done with any real energy, with any real attention. And you're missing out on a quality of the Buddha called jitta or intentness in your in your in your work. So once you make up your mind that something really is good and really does give rise to good results, and you have to do it with your whole heart and your whole mind. Don't let there be a lot of divisions inside, because the divisions will just cut down on your energy, cut down on your ability to do anything well. If your mind is scattered around all kinds of different ideas and nothing gets done well, you're left with lots of unfinished business. So if you want to get something finished, if you want to get something really skillfully done in your life, you've got to give it your whole heart. And this is one of the things we practice as we meditate, is giving your whole heart and your whole attention to this one thing, and not allowing any disturbances to pull you away. It's not the case that there won't be disturbances, or there won't be lapses in mindfulness, but as soon as they happen, you bring yourself right back. You get to the point where you're not really paying them any mind. They just slip right through, slip right on away, like a wind coming through a screen or going through a net. The net doesn't catch it, but the net still stays right where it was. So try to give this your whole attention, you'll find you'll be rewarded with whole happiness, an entire happiness, and not just little bits and pieces that are scattered around.